Okay, first we're going to need to perform a 30-30-30 reset, hard reset. So, to save time, I'm just going to demonstrate how it's going to be done. You'll need a pen to get to the reset button, which is in the back. And what you're going to do is, it's a little difficult here with the camera, what you're going to do is hold the reset button down for 30 seconds. And while it's still being held down, you're going to unplug it. Now this is just a demonstration on how to do it. So I let go, but you're not going to let go of the reset button. You're still going to be holding onto it for another 30 seconds. And while it's still being held down, you're going to plug it back in with your other hand, of course, and hold it for another 30 seconds. And then once that is done, uh, we're going to continue from uh, the login interface. Hello and welcome back to pawns.com. Um, after we finish doing the hard reset to the router, what we're going to do now is take uh, our downloaded file, which you can get from dd-wrt.com, and what we're going to be downloading is uh, this right here, mini generic bin. And since I already have it downloaded, it's right here. And what we're going to do is open up uh, Internet Explorer. I know how much uh, you guys like this browser, <laughs> but uh, I prefer Firefox myself. We're going to type in the default address and type in our username, password. We're going to go to upload the firmware. I'm going to browse through our firmware, and for me, it's on a desktop. So let's go look for it. Okay, here it is. Click upgrade. Once you do that, it'll take about a minute, maybe two. Uh, don't interrupt it. Don't unplug anything. Just let it go. Uh, it's actually about as simple as doing an official upgrade. And you'll see that after once this is completed, you'll be on the new DDWRT firmware. And it's really that simple. Uh, it may be a little more difficult with other uh, particular models of Linksys routers, but this one, uh, version 2.2 of the uh, WRT 54G router, uh, is very simple. You just upload uh, this firmware and upgrade, and it's really that simple. So we're not going to interrupt this, we're just going to let it continue, and we will see what it looks like once it's complete. Okay, upgrade is successful. So when we come back, we'll take a look at some of the advanced settings that we can do. Hard reset, and what we're going to do now is uh, test out to make sure that everything we uploaded is okay. So we're just going to type in this again. And here we go. The new control panel, we're on the DDWRT, and what we're going to do is uh, put in some new settings. So we can uh, change it, we can go to adjust a, a few settings. Currently I'm getting an error on page. So Let's not use Internet Explorer. Okay, so once you get in, it uh, automatically logs you in, but I'm pretty sure that if you go anywhere else, it's going to ask you to change so 
so the username is root and we're going to be changing the password to something else it's going to ask us to prompt us to log in again And now we can go and pretty much go in and change all the settings we want. And from here we can actually do another update to more of the latest firmware.